Hello and welcome to BizRun. In this video, I'm going to show you BizRun's timekeeping features, which also includes the ability to clock in on the desktop or clock in on a mobile phone and submit the time card for approval by a supervisor, approve the uh, time card, and also export that information to payroll. So here I am logged in as Arista, and Arista is a supervisor of a department of about uh, 20 employees. And I'm going to, we're going to be clocking in as Callie, one of Arista's direct reports. I'm also logged in as Callie herself. This is the desktop view, and this is the simulation of the mobile view. So for desktop, I simply roll my cursor over uh, Callie's uh, profile picture, click on the small pencil, I come down to timekeeping, and this opens up the timekeeping dashboard. I could also do this on the mobile phone. It's a slightly different interface, but it's very similar. I click on timekeeping and have a very similar interface. I can clock in. Uh, with an activity that could be as simple as work, or it can be more complex. It can be project-based. So for here, I have a couple of examples. So I'm going to clock in as the mountain market project design phase. Uh, I can also put in a note if I wanted to. In some instances, companies put in an address. So I'll put in an address the notes field can accommodate any number of characters. And then I can go ahead and clock in. With BizRun, we have a concept of being able to clock in in the morning, clock out at the end of the day. And in between times, we transfer to different activities. So I could transfer to another activity. And here, let's say I want to clock into another project, which could be the Falcon Foods Project installation, and click Submit. Or I could be transferring it to something as simple as I said earlier, Work. Clock into Work and click Submit. And now at the end of the day, I would just simply press the orange button and click Clock Out. So here we can see when I look at Callie's time, when it's the appropriate time for her to submit her time card, I simply click on Submit Time Card. I put in the start date, so I'm going to choose today's date. And now what's showing me is that there's total number of hours to submit, the regular hours, the details. I can view the details here and look on today's date. Remember, we put a note in. Here's the notes. So that all follows. So as an employee, I can review all of my time. Then I would click the I attest that the hours are correct box right here. Notice that the submit button is grayed out until I click on the submit. Or I should say the I attest the hours are correct button. And then I can click submit. Over on the right-hand side of my screen in the pending, which is my outbox, I can see this request has been sent to my supervisor. If I needed to, I could withdraw it. But we're going to let it go through. And now I come back over to Arista. And Arista, I'm also logged into her email. So if I'm logged into the account, um, I can immediately go to my inbox. But otherwise, I can look in my email, and I'll get an email notification that there's an approval request for Callie's time card. I can either click on the blue Click Here to Review link, or since I'm logged in, I simply come over to my active pane and click on the inbox, and here is this request from Callie. I can, in fact, view the details. Here we are again. I can view all sorts of information. I can view the notes. I can review the details of the clock in, clock out. If needed, I could edit the punch on behalf of Cali. So it's very simple to do. 
But I'm going to go ahead and approve this. Oh, excuse me, let's look at the details. And I'm going to go ahead and approve it. Click Submit. And now when I come over to the Settings tab, Time and Attendance, the Payroll Report, I'm going to run this for Cali and for this day's uh, groups of dates. And here's the information. This is sharing with me the hours, total hours to submit, the activity, all the different activity that she worked, and then the approval status, which shows that it's been approved. Once I've looked at all that, I can simply export this to a .csv file, and then that can be uploaded to uh, any uh, payroll system. Thank you for viewing BizRun. Have a good day.